Hi, Kevin from m &E Services. In this video, we're going to be looking at the second fixing of the infrared. The first video covers the first fix and the one that follows this will be the turning on. So here we're untaping the mats that we've previously clipped to the ceiling just to hold them in place. And you'll see Tony is putting a bed of plaster onto the existing ceiling. So this is an existing property, not a new build. So we go about a meter or so to put the bed on. And then Steve pretty much trows it in to that plaster. The video just span round because this is the third mat that we're bedding in in this room. So then, which is different to what we were told, but what we found to be best, is we put another bed over the top. You can keep troweling and push more of the plaster through the foil mat, but we found this a lot easier. We then just finish the base coat in all the gaps that had previously been left and flatten everything out. So now the base coat is on and finished in this room and it's been flattened out. So normally when you would skim without using this system, you'd be putting your top coat on not long after but we have found that we've got to let this dry a lot more um, otherwise it brings the mat to the top so now we're in the room we did yesterday so this is the the day after and it's starting to dry out but what we have found is it does take quite a lot longer to dry out because we found the mats are holding moisture um, and in another room um, that we've done in this property you can physically see where the mats are where the rest is dry so it does does need to take a you do need to leave it a little bit longer to dry out than you normally would so that's the plastering in of the foils and how we did it like i've said in the videos they do people do advise you to put it in a lot lot wetter and the mix is like soup um, most of the information we was able to obtain was always done in a new build property where the plasterboard would suck it in the plaster in a lot faster with us we pva those existing ceilings and because of the nature of the plasterboard they wouldn't they wouldn't dry out as a new build and as a new plasterboard would so uh, a word of warning or advice really always make sure there are two of you uh, and never let go of the foil mats so you saw us holding them uh, we had one instance where the we caught the last bit as we were skimming the last bit of the foil in um, the second man let go and the whole lot come down and it ripped the crimped there's some crimped edges uh, on the mat where the cables go on and it rip them clean off so we had to order and replace that mat because you can't repair them and they're very expensive so uh, just make sure you never let go of them um, but yeah i think once you've done your first one like your first installation you'll find your own way um, but we definitely found by putting two lots of base coat on to sandwich that foil mat was definitely the best method for us and i hope that you found this video useful and check out the next one where we turn everything on